This is a fill in the blank prompt that'll elevate any image that you're trying to create in Midjourney. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use it and how to fill it in to get exactly what you want. A prompt is very similar to how we would communicate with each other. The crazy part is though, when we are communicating with AI, it actually has the entire knowledge of the internet in its brain. This means that you can be very vague and literally ask it to imagine anything. The hardest part though is actually knowing what you want it to do and then communicating that in a way that AI will give you what you actually want. I like to view the prompt as a description that you're giving the AI, a description about your image. A description is what we use to convey a character, a setting, or a scene that puts an image in the AI's mind. It's how we bring characters to life and create imaginative settings. A well-developed prompt will develop a well... <laughs> what? A tongue twister. <laughs> A well-developed prompt will convey a well-developed image. In order to do this, you can use the tips in this video. Also, to supplement that, I have a link in the description below, which is the Midjourney Cheat Sheet. It's a reference guide to all things Midjourney prompting that's made specifically for architecture. In the Midjourney Cheat Sheet, you will notice there are seven powerful prompt producers you should follow to create amazing and impressive architectural images. First off, we have fill in the blanks. Subject, is it a person, an animal, location, or object? Medium, a photo, painting, illustration, sculpture, a sketch, or maybe a textile. Environment, is it the interior or exterior? What's the climate zone? Is it a fantasy world? Maybe it's even underwater. Lighting, how's the lighting? Is it soft, ambient, noir? Overcast, sunny, neon, is it in a studio or is it very faded? Is the color vibrant, muted, bright? Is it monochromatic, black and white, colorful, or maybe pastel? The mood, is it sedated, calm, energetic, or maybe mysterious? Composition, is it a portrait, an architectural rendering, a headshot, a close-up? Are you looking at it from bird's eye view or are you looking at it up from a worm's eye view? Is it an architectural construction drawing or maybe even an isometric drawing? Synonyms. Give your descriptive words more weight by using powerful synonyms. Instead of saying large, say gigantic, massive, or enormous, use strong emotions and very atmospheric qualities. Five senses. It helps to think about your five senses and include a word or phrase for all five. Sight, sound, smell, touch, and taste. Similes. Similes are when you use the words like or as. For instance, a house like a tropical fish or a hallway like a Star Wars set. POV or point of view. Choose how the image is perceived and who is perceiving it. Is it an isometric, a bird's eye view, worm's eye view, or a construction drawing on a computer screen? Try to include a date and time that the image is in. For instance, if it should have qualities of a Renaissance painting, or a collage from the 1930s. Collective nouns. Try not to use plural words and instead use collective nouns. If you want six columns, say six columns, not just columns, plural. Midjourney has an easier time interpreting the scale and the look you're going for if you have a definitive number of elements. Style and aesthetics. Midjourney is very good at stylizing an image. Use words like cartoon, diagram, noir, graphite shading, realistic, or architecture rendering, maybe ornamental gothic, or any other artistic style you would like to apply to your image. It's very helpful to know what type of aesthetic you're going for in your image. I've linked in the description and in the Midjourney cheat sheet a link to an extremely useful wiki page that has a very long list of aesthetics and different styles that you can use. I will typically end my prompt with either a type of building, the word architecture, or structure so that Midjourney knows that I'm looking specifically for architecture. It's better to ask for what you want and not what you don't want. Use collective nouns like I mentioned before and don't rely on the phrase no columns or no people. There are specific parameters that you can use to remove things from your image, but that's what I'll go over in the video linked at the top left here and in the description below. The hardest part about writing a good prompt is knowing what you want. Available to patrons and linked in the description below is the Midjourney Cheat Sheet. It's a complete Midjourney reference guide that's made specifically for architecture. What we just learned is called a basic prompt. 
And you can add in image URLs and parameters to change the aspect ratios. Remix an image that you have already made, create videos, or blend multiple images together. You can do all that and so, so much more. Please like the video if you like the video and subscribe down below if you wanna see future content just like this. The video at the top there will teach you how to use parameters and image URLs within a mid-journey prompt. Essentially, it will teach you advanced prompting. Right beside me here are a list of patrons from Patreon. When you sign up, you get a lot of great architecture-related benefits and your name gets featured at the end of the video like these amazing people right here.